Hello and welcome. This is Programming in Pearl. My name is Chef Bird, and I'm going to be taking you from being an absolute beginner in the world of programming to someone that can actually feel confident telling the computer what to do through programming. Uh, we're going to be using the Perl language, um, and by the end of this lecture series, you should be able to make your life a whole lot easier by leveraging these programs to work for you. So, in order to get started, we're all going to need to get on the same page. Uh, so, everyone is either in Windows or in Mac slash Linux. Now, you Mac and Linux guys, you have it easy because Perl already comes installed in the system. So, I'm going to skip over for you guys for now and just talk about the Windows guys. In order to get Perl onto your system, you're going to need to install it. So go ahead and grab your browser, whatever you use to access the internet, and uh, point it to strawberrypearl.com. You're going to come here, and this is what it looks like. Uh, go ahead and download Perl. Uh, this is what's going to allow your computer to actually read the programs that you write. Um, so depending on whether you have a 32-bit or a 64-bit system, go ahead and download that and uh, click through the wizard uh, so that it's installed. Um, and then, congratulations, Perl is on your system. Like I said, Mac, Linux, you're not going to need to do that. Um, as far as writing our programs, we're going to need a text editor. Um, just to keep everything the same, I'm going to show you guys how to get G-Edit, uh, which is my favorite. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have Windows, Mac, or Linux. G-Edit works on all three. You can go here to this website, projects.genome.org slash G-Edit, right there. Uh, that will bring you to this page. Um, if you want to download the Windows installer, that can be found right here. Gedit Win32 binary, that's what you want to click on. Uh, same thing right below that for the Mac OS X installer. That package is found right here. Uh, Tiger, Leopard, Snow Leopard, whatever flavor of Mac you have, it's all right here. Uh, for Linux, it's different on every distribution. Uh, you can use Synaptic uh, Package Manager or uh, you know if you're using a different kind of package manager you can get it that way or if you want to do it the old way the old school way and download it from source it'll be right over here um, so anyway get gedit on your system um, install that by clicking through the wizards and you are good to go there uh, now we're gonna learn how to open up a command line um, that's we're not going to be programming from the command line but we're going to be running our programs from the command line so it's nice uh, to know how to get there uh, for you Windows guys you're gonna wanna click on start and then you're wanna click on, on run so that will bring you to a little pop-up window where you can type cmd dot exe and hit enter and there you are. There's your DOS prompt, it's called. That's the command line that we're going to be using there. Uh, for Mac and Linux, uh, Linux, you should already know how to get to the terminal if you're using Linux. Uh, but for you Mac guys, what you're going to want to do is go to Applications, and then Utilities. Uh, and then from there, it's called Terminal there it is uh, click on that and uh, alright so you guys will have something that looks like this it's a little different if you're on Windows but it's the same gist it's uh, instead of pointing and clicking on folders and files this makes you actually type things in and I know that's scary don't worry I'm gonna hold your hand through the whole thing and it will be relatively painless I assure so that's all for today or for this lecture 
Uh, I just wanted to make sure that we're all on the same page and we're going to get started with actually programming in the next lecture. Uh, just a quick word on gedit. Um, if you have that downloaded, uh, this is what it looks like for me. Uh, but if it doesn't, if you don't have the uh, line number here on the side, you're going to want to go to tools, or I'm sorry, you want to go to edit preferences, uh, and make sure that display line numbers is checked, and that'll get you your numbers here. Uh, it's going to be very important when we uh, actually start programming. Um, all right, so I'll see you next time. Thanks.